On October 28, 2023, the world lost beloved actor Matthew Perry, best known for his iconic role as Chandler Bing on Friends. The details surrounding his death have now emerged, revealing a tragic reliance on ketamine, a dissociative anesthetic that Perry had been using in an attempt to manage his depression. According to court documents obtained by Playful Parade, Perry's longtime assistant, Kenneth Awamasa, administered ketamine to Perry three times on the day he died. The actor's final words, requesting a big one of the drug, paint a heartbreaking picture of his struggle. Perry, 54, had asked Iwamasa to give him his first dose of ketamine at 8.30 a.m. that morning. Four hours later, while watching a movie at his $5.2 million Los Angeles mansion, he requested a second dose. Before administering the third dose, Perry instructed Iwamasa to prepare his jacuzzi. Iwamasa then left to run errands, only to return later to find Perry unresponsive, face down in the hot tub. The Friends star had previously spoken openly about using ketamine as a treatment for his depression. However, in the month leading up to his death, Perry's use of the drug had spiraled out of control, crossing the line from treatment to abuse. Iwamasa, who has since taken a plea deal, admitted that he had been administering ketamine to Perry for about a month, following instructions from Dr. Salvador Placencia. Placencia, 42, had met Perry around late September 2023 and had taught Awamasa how to administer the drug. The doctor had supplied Perry with both liquid ketamine and lozenges, despite being fully aware of the actor's deteriorating relationship with the anesthetic. In the weeks before his death, Perry had paid Placencia and another individual, Eric Fleming, $55,000 in cash for ketamine. Placencia and his associate, Dr. Mark Chavez, allegedly conspired to exploit Perry's dependency, with Placencia texting Chavez, I wonder how much this moron will pay. Perry's struggles with ketamine were well documented. In his 2022 memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, he candidly described the drug as something that felt like it had his name written all over it. While it helped him disassociate from life, he also acknowledged that it made him feel like he was dying. Perry's memoir detailed the highs and lows of his experience with ketamine, likening its effects to being hit with a giant happy shovel, but with a hangover that outweighed any momentary relief. Despite his public battles with substance abuse, Perry had hoped to be remembered for more than just his struggles. In a 2022 interview on the Q with Tom Power podcast, he expressed his desire to be remembered as somebody who lived well, loved well, and was a seeker. He emphasized that his paramount goal was to help people, a sentiment that deeply resonated with his fans. The circumstances surrounding Perry's death are a tragic reminder of the dangers of unchecked addiction and the vulnerability of even the most beloved figures. While Perry's legacy as a talented actor and comedian will endure, his story also highlights the critical need for compassion and support in addressing substance abuse. Oh,